I'm Andrew Goddard, and this is the Weekly Volatility Roundup from CMC Connect. The Russell 2000 US Smaller Cap Index found itself being subject to conflicting forces last week, as the market accounted not only for a degree of bargain hunting, but also the slightly hotter than expected US inflation prints. The index ended up trading in a range exceeding 5%, and with the debate as to when we will see rate cuts by the Federal Reserve likely to run for a while yet, US small caps seem set to remain in focus for some time. One week vol on the index stood at 28.16% against 21.61% over three months. Palladium continues to outperform its peer Platinum, with short covering being seen as a key driver. That's despite concerns of higher interest rates for longer, suppressing demand for industrial metals and the fact that it's difficult to constrain the supply of palladium, given it is typically extracted at the same time as other elements. One week vol on palladium stood at 58.47% compared to 50.39% over three months. The combination of higher than forecast US inflation, along with news that the UK had posted a second consecutive quarter of GDP contraction, so putting the country into a technical recession as a result, served to make cable the most active currency trade on the week. However, despite those headwinds, the pound did manage to recover from midweek lows by Friday's close. One week vol printed 8% against 7.51% for three months. And earnings season continues to offer direction at the single stock level, with NatWest Group being a solid example. The UK lender impressed the market last Friday not only with headline numbers, but also the prospect of an improved dividend, lower than forecast impairment rates, and a £300 million share buyback. That was sufficient to see shares pop 10% higher ahead of the weekend break, pushing one-week vol to 57.7% against 34.41% for three months.